Hello, welcome to LMC and Knowledge, Lyrics Music Channel, spiritual insight and wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at. Make sure you pray it up so you can stay up in the highlight of energy just like me, okay? So the first card that I pulled was the Five of Pentacles, okay? So there was a situation that where you felt left out in the cold, either a relationship, somebody walked away from you, um, in a friendship, somebody walked away from you, or in even your family, maybe your family has walked away from you and left you out in the cold. You may have a child, you may be a single mother or a single father, and um, you're at this person, it kind of seems like um, there's like somebody who's like, I'm here for you. You know, God's always here for you. Jesus is always here for you. But there may be a physical person who's reaching out to you and they're trying to help you in this time of need. Or um, you're talking to somebody about how you were left out in the cold. Um, somebody walked away from you or somebody just left you with nothing. They left you with not enough money to uh, fend for yourself or your children or your family. Um, that's what I'm really hearing from this card. And... This person has left you burdened. This person has left you burdened. Either you were forced to leave or they left you uh, by choice. And it left you burdened. It left you with problems, pain, uh, trauma, or depression. It left you in lack. It left you... Maybe you have back pain or maybe you have problems with your knee, knee, your joints. Um, that's what I'm hearing. Uh... Yeah, you're very stressed out. <clears throat> this could be either past, present, or future. You take what resonates for you. But yeah, there's a situation that left you burdened and they walked away from you or you had to walk away and just not have enough. You chose like, okay, I know that I'm not going to have enough if I walk away, but I still have to do it because it's not benefiting me anymore. It's really burdening me. I have all these all this situation or you've been with this person for nine years or nine months or um, nine weeks or um, something about the number nine is significant um they could be a fire sign uh don't have to be uh, aries leo sagittarius could be a water sign earth sign since this person's in the ground it could be an earth sign but um yeah so that's what i'm hearing with that um this left you confused in making a decision. You were finding it difficult to make a decision with the situation. So it really, even though it was leaving you burdened and stuff, you were probably still hanging on or juggling <coughs> uh, two people or they were juggling you or it was just decisions that you were finding difficult to make at the time. So the next card after that is the Four of Swords. So this person is laying in bed and they had to contemplate. They had to wonder, like, decide what is my next move. You're, you're seeking God's knowledge or you're praying to God and you're asking him to give you the next move. Let him guide you to the next direction in life. Um, or this situation left you laying in bed or just, you just didn't take action in your life and this, or this situation wasn't allowing you to take action in your life and you were always at home. Uh, you were always probably daydreaming of what if, or like maybe this should change or what if I do this, what will happen? So I feel like you're in contemplation, just thinking about what action you should, uh, make next. What is your next move? But I hear right here, this is where this is where it gets so much better, okay? These were just the beginning. But now you're moving towards the fool, okay? The fool is the person who's taking an opportunity. They're taking a leap of faith. They're taking a risk on a new journey in life. They're trying to start over. This is just fresh. You're making a new, clear decision for yourself, for your family. Um, yeah, and this person is like, Look at all these signs. You could be any sign. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, the fool, they, they take risks. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad, you know. But you weren't the fool in this situation. Like legitimately, legitimately the fool. No. But you, they might have said you were foolish if you leave me. Maybe they said that. Maybe they tried to make you stay. Maybe they made you contemplate longer and longer than you expected to. But now you're taking a leap of action. Look at this. This is number zero. 
This means a new cycle, a new start, a new life. You're starting at ground zero. You're starting at ground, you're restarting. You know, it's like a restart in your life and um, a restart in your foundation. Then the next one comes as the Knight of Pentacles. So now you see the Knight of Pentacles is the beginning stages of a new foundation that you are creating for your life or for yourself or for your family. This is going to take some time. You see, yes, starting over is going to really take some time. I'm going to have to really dedicate myself to what I want in my life now. Maybe this person is the one who helped you at a, a certain time. They kept you um, stable in life. But now you're going to be stable in life because you're making the decision to leave. And God's giving you that opportunity. He said, you take that risk and I got you. We're going to start from ground zero. But guess what? We're going to make it because the Knight of Pentacles is sturdy. They're stable. They're going to make it. It's a journey. You're walking, you're embarking on a new journey in life. And it's going to be very beneficial for you and for the people around you that did not leave you out in the cold. Okay. And maybe for your kids, you guys are just starting from ground zero. So maybe you guys had a big house and now you have to go to a, an apartment. Like just something that is enough for you and your family, enough for you and your child. And it's okay. And you're okay with starting with little because even though you may have had everything with this past person, or you were trying to have everything with this past person, um, it just didn't, for some reason, it didn't flourish and it wasn't worth it to stay in the situation. So you took, like I said, you took a leap of faith. It took you time. You had to contemplate. You had to meditate. You had to ask God. You had to, you were indecisive at certain times in your life and now you took action now. So this is in the future or you, this is what you're doing currently. But yeah. You're starting small and it's going to get big. It's going to turn into the Ten of Pentacles. And that's when you big balling, okay? You you got all them. You don't need no help. That You're going to be like, do you need help? That's where you're going to be at. So the last card that we got is the star. The star, look at her. You could be a female or a male watching this. It doesn't matter, but you are healing yourself. You decided to walk away, start anew, heal yourself. And become your truest self because you weren't, you didn't even feel like you anymore in this situation. You weren't even dressing the same. You weren't as confident. You weren't as um, strong. You didn't feel strong in that situation. You felt like they had all the strength. But now you're gaining your own strength. You're healing yourself. And people are watching. People are going to be able to, God's going to put you, he's going to put your, se your success at the forefront. God is putting your success in the eyes, in front of the eyes of the enemy. God is like, you thought you had my child. You thought you could break my child. You thought you could take from my child. You thought you could breadcrumb my child. But no, I'm giving her or him their own opportunity to grow, to become their own boss or to be get, or get a high paid job. That's what I'm hearing, a high paid job where they're, you're going to be paid. You're going to be paid and their their finances are going to decrease. I'm sorry to say that, but whoever has done you wrong in this situation, it could be a landlord or somebody that told you that left you on the cold or says you couldn't live there no more or somebody who just gave you um, the availability to be stable and they tried to take your stability away. God is bringing that stability back. And while you are on working on yourself you're healing yourself you're going to be making money you're going to be so much more happier you're going to feel so much more lighter um your third eye is opening it's like they kind of tried to block your spiritual sight they didn't want you to pray as much or they didn't want you to speak positive positivity over your life they didn't want you to have hope in uh they didn't want you to have hope in uh creating a life on your own or without them so that's what I'm hearing from that. So I had a prayers card for you guys. And it's right here. Psalms 31-24. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Be strong and take heart, all who hope in the Lord. 
I know I'm saying it so weirdly because I'm looking at it through the camera. But um, yeah, be strong. God's calling you to be strong in this situation. Or he's giving you strength to move on in this situation. He's giving you the encouragement. He's instilling determination into you. He's instilling the faith into you. Um, continue to pray to the Lord and he will continue to bless you and show you a new way of life. Okay? God bless you guys. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.